So you're thinking of a digital nomad life, breaking out of your nine to five, living your life on your own terms and still have a steady full-time income. There's so many ways to go remote these days, but honestly, sometimes it can just feel a little bit overwhelming. The options are there, but where do you even start? And what's the fastest way to actually make it happen? So in this video, I will walk you through on the quickest way to become a digital nomad with a full-time income based on my own experience and also based on all the people I've interviewed on my YouTube channel that are already living the digital nomad tree. By the end of this video, you will have clear steps towards a life of freedom, adventure, and an income from anywhere. Let's get into it so you can make this a reality. So there are actually three ways to become a digital moment. Let's first start with the remote job. Remote jobs are the most stable option for income, which sounds perfect if you're looking for financial security. But there is a catch. Right now, you're not competing with only people from your city. Now you're up against the whole world for just one job. The main pro of a remote job is the stability. You'll get a steady paycheck month by month, which gives you financial security, what a lot of people are searching for. But if you think about it, competition can be very fierce. Instead of competing with people from your city, now you're competing with applicants from all over the world. This means people from countries with a lower cost of living are also applying to the same kind of jobs and might be willing to do the same job for a less amount of paycheck. And that can make it very challenging to stand out. Another drawback could be the flexibility. Although working remotely, you're still expected to stick to your nine to five routine and maybe in a different time zone. So even technically, you're free to be anywhere in the world. Your fixed hours might limit you to explore different cities, places and countries that you might be visiting and you might not really truly experience the digital nomad lifestyle. It's a trade off between flexibility and stability. So if stability and a guaranteed income are your goal, a remote job could be ideal. But if you're looking for the freedom to explore without being tied down you might want to explore some other options next we have building an online business this route offers the ultimate flexibility but it could be harder than you think running an online business can be very rewarding with huge potential for financial growth and personal freedom but it comes with its own challenges. One of the biggest pros of starting an online business is the flexibility that it offers. You can automate a lot of your tasks, which means freedom to work on your own schedule. Out of all options, it just allows you to have the most flexibility. You're in charge, so you decide how little or how much you wanna work. And that means a higher chance of truly living a life of exploration as a digital nomad and living the digital nomad life maybe to its fullest extent. The potential to earn is also way higher than a remote job where income tends to be fixed. With an online business, there's no cap of how much you can earn, which is a huge straw for many people. But the main con is that it could be very hard to start and it could take a long time before it takes off. Building an online business comes with financial risk, especially when you're just beginning and don't have the skills or a customer base yet. It takes effort and investment before it takes off, which can be very intimidating, especially when you need an income fast for that life. So if you're willing to take financial risks, the potential for a higher reward and ultimate flexibility, then an online business might be the right thing for you. Just know in the beginning, it could be a tougher path for you. The third option is freelancing, which offers a middle ground between stability of a remote job and the flexibility of running an online business. And right here is the secret that most people don't understand. Freelancing can be quite stable, especially when you offer services that have a recurring income potential, like media buying with Facebook ads. Unlike a remote job, there's way less competition since you're not applying for positions, but you're building a client base. And one challenge here could be client acquisition, but I'll break down exactly how you can do this later in the video. But the good news is once you secure a client, you have the potential for ongoing revenue as clients often need your service every month again and again. For example, I work as a media buyer and I do Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and TikTok ads for e-commerce brands. So my clients need my services every month because they will never run a campaign just for one month. Imagine that I'm running their ads and for every dollar they get $7 back. They want that every month again and again and hopefully more and more. That's why every new client that I get adds to my income and actually compound. And while I'm getting these results for my clients, I will just post about those clients results and this will bring in even more clients. I call this the client acquisition flywheel, but again, more on that later. But because of that, I don't even have to worry where my next client is going to come from. And because of that, I've always had a very steady income and I could have always paid my own salary. So if you're willing to put in the effort in the beginning to get clients, freelancing can provide you a very steady and stable income while also giving you the freedom to work on your own term. For me, freelancing has been as stable as a traditional nine to five job, but with way more freedom. And that's why I recommend this path 
to aspiring digital nomads. And I've been doing this freelancing for six years. So let's talk about how you can get started with freelancing as fast as possible and set yourself up for recurring revenue. The key to freelancing success is choosing a high in demand skill with recurring potential. And here is how you can get started today. So first, pick a skill with a high recurring potential. It could be Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, anything marketing related, actually sales related, where things constantly flow. Email marketing, video editing. Once you have chosen, it's time to dive in. Now go to YouTube and search everything about this skill to have a feel if this is something for you. If you like it, consider investing in a course from someone that is already doing it and has real life examples and learnings. Learning from somebody that already has experience will give you a step-by-step -step approach and will help you avoid mistakes. And I know some people are hesitant to invest in courses, but trust me, it's worth from learning from a practitioner than just testing random strategies that you find online. And also know making mistakes along the way is just part of the journey. That is exactly how you grow. Once you've gained the confidence in your skill and understand the basics of freelancing, like client acquisition, accounting, taxes, it's time to get your first client. So how do you actually get that first client? Well, the good news is I can bet almost that the first two clients are already in your network. Here's a simple method to attract your first client and build a portfolio quickly. Start by creating a post on every social media you own. Even if you don't have a lot of followers, hear me out. So you're exactly gonna write this. And I got this from Alex Ramoli. If you're curious how Facebook ads could benefit your e-commerce business, send me a message. I'm taking on a few clients for free to build my portfolio and get feedback. Once you get responses, you can work for free and build your portfolio. And if they're happy with the results afterwards, you can sell them on your service for a lower price or for the price you had in mind. This way, you're also building your portfolio, but just be very mindful to keep expectations very low. Tell them which course you followed and just tell them that you're gonna try your absolute best. Now that you're getting results for your clients, you're gonna post about these results every time on every social media platform you own because posting these results will attract new clients to your freelancing business. And then again, you have more results to share and then more clients will come. So you see how this flywheel is now working? By sharing your wins constantly, create a cycle that brings in people automatically. Even if your following is very small, this approach worked really well for me and can also work very well for you. Once you're set up, the next step is to decide where you're gonna set your base as a digital nomad. Starting out in a low cost country with a strong digital nomad community can make the whole transition way smoother. I recommend choosing a place with an affordable cost of living and a network of like-minded people. Not only will this save you money, but it will also give you a built-in support system. Additionally, if you're interested in reducing your taxes, relocating could also be a very interesting time to start thinking about. But please remember, as digital nomads, it's super important to support the local economy. Digital nomads have a huge impact on that and not always positively. So I want you to be very mindful of that. Try to buy local and support small business owners rather than just going to big Western establishments and look into it how digital nomads impact certain countries. I feel it's really important for me to share that with you. Being mindful of the way you impact a country allows you to enjoy the digital nomad lifestyle responsibly while making a difference. If you're really serious about becoming a digital nomad and you want a community, you want guidance, you want a step-by-step -step roadmap, I would advise you to check the link in the description. We have the Digital Nomad Accelerator and we help people just like you become a digital nomad in the fastest way possible. So if that's something for you, take the link in the description. And with that being said, that it out.